Hello, today I'm going to show you a flame test between copper sulfate and boric acid. I'm doing this to compare the colors of the flames. Both of these have a green color to their flame, but I'm just comparing it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to measure out some copper sulfate. I just put a small amount in this jar. And I also put a small amount of boric acid in this jar. Now you're going to need to put on some gloves, and you're going to need safety glasses. Now go to the hardware store and buy heat antifreeze. It contains methanol, and that's the key ingredient that you need. Methanol is a poison and can cause blindness if absorbed through the skin. Now open up your jars and add a small amount of methanol into both of them. It doesn't have to be that much. And then do the same for the boric acid. Now take both jars and shake them up to dissolve all of the chemicals. This should be done very vigorously since methanol is a poor solvent, but it's good enough for this reaction. There isn't any other solvent that can work. You cannot use rubbing alcohol or acetone. It will not work. Now, the, when you dissolve boric acid in methanol, you make trimethyl borate, a f flammable liquid that burns with a green flame. So, there's actually a reaction that takes place. Now I'm going to change the view a little bit and zoom in. And now all I have to do is pour out the solutions onto a watch glass. and light them. The boric acid is immediately burning green because there's a chemical reaction that occurred. The copper sulfate will change color shortly. It just takes a second. The boron flame can be described as emerald. And now you can see the copper color coming through. The copper is a little bit darker than the boron. There's some yellow or, or orange ish in both of them from sodium contamination. This can be solved with the addition of cobalt glass to the camera, but I don't have any, so sorry. The boric acid flame completely went out, but the copper sulfate is still going really good. Thanks for watching.